Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I really hope we didn't come up here for fun. Can we just sneak in? Like, with these guys right... Oh, but... Rejects. But there's a safe. Sneaky, sneaky. You didn't hear that? That's fine by me, lad. That is what we in the biz call A-okay. Oh, there's another one right there. That one's going to hear me when I do this one. Or not. Okay. Alright. These things are amazing. How many goddamn BBs was that Condor carry? These things are incredible. Oh, hello, hello. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Jack, get this safe open, please. Pretty, please. Ah, uh, well, it's three. Can't complain. Still worth. Man, the, the drones are so good. I can't believe. I can't believe I chatted shit about them. But the first time I saw them, I was like, well, it sounds okay, but it's more of a trap. It's not really an active kind of thing. I'm going to stick with... This and then help me get this open. Proceeded to discover just how fucking wrong I was. A similar layout to the other tower, at least. This should be it. Yeah, there's the console, same as last time. Neato burrito. Anything in the law factory? Nothing. That's a hard no. That is an Ixnay on the law, A. Eh? Get in there, Jack. Get in there! Okay, that's not ideal. We can worry about leaving after we get the data we need. Oh right, this one. The uh the transmission that matches the other signals we found. The thing he didn't fail. Got a rumbly. Really? They're all to the right? There. Got another signal match. That's gotta Sweet. Be the lab. Let's get back in there, though, Jack. Gotta run a formal trace, but yeah. You want to tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. Just in case. Doesn't seem like there are any others, so yeah. It made sense that we found all of them, except this one the other time. But I uh, just wanted to be sure. Cool, okay. Now, what in the way of security are we going to be dealing with on the way out? What the hell's this? Someone's workshop? <gasps> it's a new upgrade. Got something here. A cloak. Jack temporarily cloaks nearby squad mates. Shooting or attacking with melee will end the cloak. In co-op, only the Jack player can... Yeah, we know that. 
it's instead of stim. Oh, man. Cloaked squad mates move 15% faster. Kills while cloaked extend cloaked's duration. Wait. Shooting or attacking with melee will end the cloak. But kills while cloaked extend duration. What other option is there? If I shoot, I end cloak. If I melee, I end cloak. So how do I get kills whilst cloaked to extend its duration? I don't understand. Does it mean like stealth takedown? Is that not counted as a melee? Just have to stealth takedown everyone? Recharge is faster. Remain cloaked for the full duration even while shooting. Ah, <sighs> That's good. That is very nice. What does the full thing cost? It costs... Ooh, sorry, yawn. Uh, 2127 for the lot. So I'm only 11 away from actually being able to buy all three of these. That does sound pretty nice, but invincibility is also pretty nice. I'm not sure. How long does it last for? Oh, it lasts quite quite a decent amount of time. That's a... What, like eight seconds or something? And then it recharges blooming quick as well. Halfway recharged already. Huh. We'll give it a... Let's give it a try, shall we? Just a little bit of a try. Invisible, huh? You might want to try it here. Oh, right. You... But you... Okay. I see how they're doing it. They're setting up scenarios so that you have to use the thing that you get. I should have figured that out when we got the spidery drone things. Jack, cloak down. Let's go. Lol, nice security. Ha ha. Right, that's one problem behind us. And we got a new toy. Come on then. Back to the skiff. I love to get new toys. Not so fast. Snipers ahead. If only we could turn ourselves invisible somehow! Way ahead of you! Let's take him down! Oh, well, I guess fuck my cover then, hey? Do it again! I dare you. I double dare you. You shouldn't have taken that dare, man. Cloak. Surprise! Dead. Thanks for the update. Hey, we got them all. Let's Couldn't see. The and back to the skiff. Awesome. You ready to go find that lab? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. We are. Wee! There we go. <laughs> Can't go out here. Okay. Look, I gotta ask you something. Once you get yourself answers. Yeah. What then? I mean, what happens next? What are you actually? Asking? You okay up there? Look, I know you're not exactly thrilled to be in the cog. Hey, if you're worried, I'm gonna run off or something. No, no, no. I'm not worried you're going to run off. Oh, no? Well, maybe you should worry. At least a little bit. Oh. Great. Well, that's encouraging. Are you just stuck? <sighs> you do you, Del. Uh, which way is the actual way back out? Over here? Oh, over there. Well, what the hell's over this way, then? Did I go over here? Oh, that's our... Oh, uh, okay. I gotcha. Read you loud and clear, boss.
It's the invisible girl. She is so invisible. It's incredible. Except you can clearly see her blue outline. The locust must be pretty dumb. Do not see that blue outline. <laughs> Obviously, that's just for the player's benefit. Location complete. When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're oh, doing. Oh, there it is. Okay, but I got another question. If you did leave, where would you go? Mm, pre or post swarm outbreak? Hmm. Pre. Some place with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles <laughs> underground. Okay. You got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? I have no idea. But I tell you, there'd be no snow. Haha. <laughs> Secret on the cliff? No. It's the invisible girl! She's so incredible and invisible. Wait, where's the... Oh. I could... I didn't park it that way around, did I? I don't think so. Uh, okay, over here. Marcus, we got a location. If there was a lab in Mount Kadar, we'll know soon enough. Okay. But I'll say it again. That mountain will corrupt Central. We don't know what's there. Just promise that if you run into something you can't handle, you'll let me know. Appreciate that, but we're doing all right so far. Delta out. Here we go. Hey, it is over here. I thought that... Oh, wait, it's right here. I thought that looked like somewhere to go. Oh right, hey, investigate on foot. Come on, let's get off. Wait a second. There's nothing here. What if we jump yeah. really hard? I don't get it. Look, the data checks out. We're in the right place. Maybe Jack can I don't know, use pulse to ping the signal. Worth a try. Jack, pulse. <laughs> yup. Whoa. There's something under the ice. Nice work, buddy. This no shit. This to be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Uh, uh, ice this thick? It's like... Oh. I'm not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'm not sure if this helps, yeah. but here's the solution. <laughs> All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. Find a way into ye olden mine. We ain't out of the woods yet. You know when Marcus said we were heading up north? This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Man, I thought it was cold down by Oscar's village. This is ridiculous. What about your armor's thermal? They're still working, right? Yeah, but my armor doesn't cover my face. My goddamn nose hair's frozen. Thanks for sharing. Uh, wait, where is this thing on the map? Uh, all the way down there. Skiff's holding up well. That's the one positive development here. You know, Oscar used to take me skiff sailing on the salt flats near Halvo Bay. You guys went that far to sail? Yeah. And there was no cog left down there. Nothing. Just ruins. I'm really gonna miss him. I know. Me too. Feels bad. Kate, the mine's in the backwoods over there. Let's go find some explosives. Okay, the mine's back here somewhere, right? Let's hope it's got something we can use. Oh, sure. But that really depends on the type of mining we're engaged in. If they were doing hydraulic mining, we might find some high pressure water cutters. But given the environment, I bet it was some kind of subsurface extractive mining operation. Okay, all right. Gee, thanks. 
Going a bit in depth there, my man. Hello? Secret? Or alternatively, not a secret. Uh, well, there's the mine entrance. Oh, I can't jump over that. Anything around this way? Uh, no. Into the mine we need to go then. What horrors lurk beneath the surface? We're going down. Sugar, we're going down, swinging. As it loads the next area. <laughs> there we go. Uh. There's the mine. Marcus, we're here. Was that really drop into the outside? I thought we were going. Let's see. Uh, Hello. It's old leather cut mine. Industrial, rare metals. The company got nationalized by the COG right before E Day. So no activity since the war? No COG activity. Can't speak beyond that. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch. Yeah, it looked like I was dropping down into the mine, and then it's suddenly like, surprise, you're actually just dropping down into. The new outside the area. For the mine, probably. Building material. Industrial logging's not really my area. Whoa, so there is something that's not your area. <laughs> hey, I enjoy knowing things. Is that a crime? Nope. It's actually rather helpful in many situations, so don't stress it's bless. Bridge to the mine is blocked. Derailed train. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be another way across, right? Let's see. Hang on. Couldn't check this out. Boop. Okay, so I'm guessing we can't just boop these doors open. I think we're going to have to go down that hatch I just looked at. Is this? Yeah, that's impossible. Let's try down here. Boink. Oh, wait, it's not a hatch. Okay, <laughs> looks promising. Whoa. Oh. Take it back. We got some more. Let's take them out. Careful on that ice. Oh, I fucked the reload because I'm really good. What the hell was that? Oh, no. I see what they're doing, and I don't like it. Yeah, shot <laughs> that went well. Uh, very well. Proud of myself. I was like, I'm gonna just turn invisible and go around them. No. Okay, looks promising. Uh, let's swap back to invisibility. Now, I take it back. We got swarm. Let's take them out. <laughs> Careful on that ice. Oh, come on. Okay, uh. Oh man, it's actually going to last long enough to get me over here. I didn't expect it to. Oh shit, that's Del. Oh man, I'm so sorry, Del. I almost... I almost did you really dirty there, my dude. Jack, shot trap! How'd you like that one, big man? You don't? Too bad. You're done. You're done. I said... You're done. Oh my god. Oh 
Okay. <laughs> he has more health than I realized. But, uh... Still didn't, didn't do too bad. Also, turns out invisibility recharges much slower in combat. I didn't realize it was an in combat, out of combat thing. So not quite as useful as I first thought. Hi, friend. Wait, really? That didn't hit you? Pretty clear they don't want us in that mine. Yeah, but you we gotta think? get up there. Let's try that lift. Oh really? I'm full? I guess I just was using Yeah, like melee and swarm drones and the RPG stuff. Well damn. You can get a long way without shooting a bullet in this game, apparently. Jack, rip that door. Jack, rip that door. Ha! Uh oh. Kate! Ha ha ha! I see him. Hold him off. <laughs> I love this mechanic. I really do. Oh, oh shit. shit. We got a and it's got a bastard. Wait, shit, can we drop the Scion in the water too? Oh, I'm gonna be too late. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't even think that I could do that for some reason. It didn't cross my mind. That is ultra funny. That is ultra funny. I don't know why I didn't even consider that. <laughs> I was just like, oh, he's got a shield. I can't possibly do anything about this. Oh, man, there's even more of them. Okay, kind of hard to get from far away. Oh, fuck. No! Del! I pressed Y to go fucking invisible. Because for some reason I thought I had the thing that... Uh, the thing that saves you. Shit. No 
I didn't... Oh, man, I fucked it. I didn't get a chance to drop them while they were on the ice. No? There we go. Really? Really? There we go. What are you doing? Are you trying to bomb me? It's trying to bomb me. Okay. We're clear. And the lift should be good to go. Nice work, Jack. Well, that was intense. My goodness. <laughs> Any lancers around anywhere? Love a lancer. Hey, there we go. Take that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, drop shot now. Going down. And by down, I mean up. Definitely meant up. The words, they just, they just came out wrong. Give me a shiny. That is not the shiny I'm looking for. I'm looking for lore. Something, 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 something. Rhymes. This was an outsider camp. Lena, Norsko, I bet they were from here. You could be right. You reckon? That means... That means we're about to have a fight on our hands. Oh, good. Love a fight. Okay, we're supposed to be going in there, so... What's up here? Let's have a look up here, and then let's have a look down the opposite way on the track. Really? That's what's up here, is just a hammer burst? No collect- Oh, no, there is a collectible. How did I not see that? Frayed Pouncer Tooth Necklace. Kate here. I've been close enough to a pouncer's gnashing face to know this tooth recently belonged to one of them. An outsider necklace for sure. It's a small comfort to know these people didn't go down without a fight. Well, that is not... Her climb animation up is the same as Marcus's, but down. Do you remember the awesome Marcus and I think JD had it as well, the swing down and kick off? And Kate's very much more... Whee! Like... <laughs> Much quicker, sleeker. I prefer the Marcus animation for sure, just because it looks so ridiculous and brilliant. It's like one arm swing down the ladder and then kick off at the bottom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, where are you going? We gotta check the mine. I'm just having a squiz, okay? Just having a little squiz, see if there's anything to see. Which, for some reason, there isn't. I really thought there would be. But, you know what? It's all good. <gasps> <gasps> Fucking cross-country running over here. We've been going for ten miles. My god, he's permanently... I... Oh, mum. Dell, are you okay? Yeah, it sure looks like they fought them hard in here. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that one. <laughs> I love no bodies. Ha 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 ha
Nothing. Okie dokie. Let's, let's get this open. <laughs> Jack's like, this is the fucking life. Normally, he's the one opening doors for us. Now, <laughs> how the tables have turned. We missed a lot in the roundup. How? Most outsiders don't want to be found. That is the idea, yes. It's better we find them than the swarm. True. Doing the All-Father's work. Labor for your fellow citizen, labor for the coalition. Never cut mining. Dell here, Nethercut. Used to be a big time player before the Locust War. A lot of old money and deep connections to the COG government. Two thirds of the raw metal used to manufacture equipment for the military came from these guys. The sweat on their brows was the stuff lancers were made of. You know, figuratively. <laughs> Hello. Open this, Jack. That's just going to be regular parts, isn't it? Components. Yep. Oh, but it's a full stack of five. Big money balling over here. Yes, lads. I have 22. Didn't quite realise that. Um, Let's get that. That's pretty good. I don't know if that's going to be useful enough. I've got all of those. I don't have all of Pulse. What are the additional ones for Pulse? Doubles the duration of the outlines. Which is good because I have Marked for Death. I guess I'll get that, because I've got the marks for death one, so that's actually useful. I don't really care about, well, weapons and ammo, like, it's not like I've ever really missed them. Uh, inflicts damage? Sure. Let's just get that. We've maxed out that, we've maxed out that. We haven't maxed out that because we don't need to. We've maxed out that. I guess next we work on maxing out this. I don't really... I guess this kind of is use. Well, yeah, no, it's not kind of. It definitely is useful, but I just don't feel as much of a need to do that. Although this is something that we're always going to be having. Jack is always going to be zapping bitches, whereas these will only be using sometimes. So maybe I should actually focus on the passives. Huh. Food for thought. Uh. At the end of the day, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I feel like in the moment that I am upgrading. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Who knows? Even I don't know what I'll want to do. I don't know what I want to do hour to hour. Let alone with big important upgrades. Anybody else get a real bad feeling? Personally, me, for one, got a real bad feeling. The kind of feeling that one can only get when one is about to get mega porked. Here we go. Shit. Oh. As expected. Goody. <laughs> Yeah, and then they found a camp, and then they ditched that one too, and then one of them froze to death and the other got turned into a fucking juvie. But yeah, you know, they survived. <gasps> it's a law thing. Okay, you ever think about what happens to people with pods? I didn't option. know. Yeah, but maybe there's some part of them, some spark, that's still human. There's nothing human left. Keep looking around. Nethercut Miner's Journal. He's dead. Rev is fucking dead. Foreman says he died at that site the cogs got us working on. Mining accident. Can't even get the body, he says. A couple of the other guys lost their mates too. Shit is getting bleak around here. You know, I think I might just catch the next train back to Jacinto and get a proper office job like mum's been saying. Getting- Ooh, pardon me. Getting real tired of freezing my testiculars off all the time too. Indeed. Man, I should, uh, I'm going to finish Act 2, and then I'm going to break for dinner. And then I'm going to come back and continue playing, because this shit is amazing. <laughs> Actually can't even, oh, grenades. I didn't even consider that when I was using the long shot to break the ice, I should have just been using my grenades. 
They probably break a wider area than just... Yeah. God damn it. Moron moves with your host, Living Sun. Okay, so question is... I'm guessing that's the way to go. Act 2 has been super long, by the way. I've been recording for four hours, and the start of the recording was the start of Act 2. I don't think we've ever had a four hour long act before in Gears. I mean, a lot of that length is because it went openy world. Which is a very easy way of extending playtime without actually adding substance, I guess. Hang on, that's also a way. Hmm. Let's do this way first. And I'm not sure where where I fall on the open world. I, it's it's cool and it's different and it's not too egregious. But I don't know. It does kind of feel like it's just there to extend the playtime because they just hid upgrades behind side missions, and the side missions boil down to walk into the little offshoot bit and kill the people there and pick up the upgrade. And I mean, I guess the whole every every shooting game is walk into the room and kill the people. But you know what I mean? Like it's not it's not following the story. It's just a side bit where there are dudes and an upgrade. Hang on, was this the way I came in? I'm so dumb. That was the way I came in. I am Dumbo Extraordinaire. Did I check here? Nah. <laughs> Hang on, why have I got pulse on? No, thank you. Uh, let's have stim as our default and then we can switch to invisibility if the situation calls for it. Give me a hand, please. Oh god. Where? Oh fuck. Hi. Uh. Good start. Hi. Not too bad. Pretty sure that big drill ran off phosphorus fuel. Okay, so. So, when you expose phosphorus to oxygen and water, it ignites. And that is solve our ice problem. Then let's Interesting. Take what's left. It only took five grenades and a few clips of Lancer. <laughs> Very nice. I'm pretty sure that had less health than uh, the ones in Gears 4 did. I remember those, like, being absolute. <laughs> motherfuckers to take down in four. Jack, fetch. Whee! Uh, thanks for that, Jack. I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. Get fucked, boy. Anything we can do with... Th actually, yeah, there is. 
Is that what we're supposed to do? Because this is, is this, yeah, this is kind of blocked off. So I think we're supposed to do that. I'll just bring it down here in case we need it. We don't have any explosive weapons at the moment. It doesn't refill the long shot, I'm pretty sure. But if we do end up with a boom shot or a torque bow or whatever, it will refill that. Jack, okay, go. Really 